Welcome to the second day of the 7th Annual Artivist Film Festival, dedicated to raising awareness for humanity, animals, and the environment through international film. Over the past seven years, the Artivist Film Festival has screened over 400 films from around the world. Special thanks go to our host and sponsor, Petrobras, a partner in our community. My name is Kevin Booth. I produce a movie called How Weed Won the West, and I'm here at the 7th Annual Artivist to play the film for all types of activists from all over the world, not just a bunch of potheads like all my other screenings. What do you think of the audience reaction today? I thought it was good, really constructive. Seemed to you know, be a pretty intelligent audience. As a filmmaker, you're always on pins and needles if people are going to laugh at the right moments, especially since this was a brand new edit that we were trying out. A smart audience to me is when they laugh at my jokes, a bad audience, a dumb audience when they don't laugh at my jokes. So I thought it was a pretty smart audience. Could you explain, just summarize what issue you're trying to forward through your film? Just the issue of uh, human rights and allowing people to consume what they want to consume, like we're supposed to be allowed to. Marijuana was legal 75 years ago, and it's not a controlled substance. The DEA and all the opposition will try to say that legalizing marijuana is simply a Trojan horse to legalizing all drugs. But I like to ask people, when's the last time you saw a legalized cocaine rally? When's the last time you saw a legalized crystal meth rally? When's the last time you've been to a PCP legalization meeting? It's just never going to happen. Marijuana is not a controlled substance. It's a plant. It's an herb. All these other drugs are things that have to be manufactured in laboratories. So that's really the gist of it. People don't belong in jail for it on any level. Tell me a bit about your relationship to the Artivist Festival. Well, you know, we, in my last film, American Drug War, Artivist was kind of a taking off point. We had screened the film at several other festivals and kept changing the edit, but edit. But it seemed like Artivist was the uh, the ultimate hallmark for American drug war. Right after Artivist, we secured a Showtime deal and we did pretty good with it. And so I always looked at Artivist was was the, my most fond memory of all the other festivals. So it was really important for me to be able to come back here with this film. It's a different vibe here than other festivals. It's a really good vibe of people that are doing things other than just for commercial success. But what's good about it is that. It bridges together being able to have Hollywood sensibilities and being able to create art. Question about the Q&A session, was it informative to be kind of juxtaposed with the activists on the panel? Yeah, definitely, because I, I wanted the Q&A session not to be a reflection on what we already covered in the film, but to be looking forward, and so I thought we did that, and I actually heard a bunch of stuff I didn't even know, and that's, that's what I was really fishing for. And as far as the issue of legalizing marijuana, what do you hope this film can do about that? Just have weed everywhere. Have weed growing out of my head. No. Uh, just, well, personally, I think if it's legalized across the board, I think a lot of people are going to get bored with it. I think, I think once it becomes grandma's back medicine, most kids are going to be moving on to something else. And they try to use that as a reason, too. So, you know, when you look at countries like Amsterdam that have maybe not so much legalized but decriminalized, and, and drug use goes down amongst the youth, that's really what it's all about. So. I'm hoping that the next version of Prop 19 does pass, even if it does have to tax it. I understand what they're all saying about not taxation in there during the panel, but let's face it, we, we live in a capitalistic society and the government is never going to allow anything to happen here that doesn't have some sort of tax structure. Not to say that people dying of AIDS or cancer should be taxed, uh, but you know, there's going to have to be, it's all going to be about the money when it comes to legalization. They didn't, they didn't legalize alcohol because people had glaucoma. They legalized it because it was a financial, financial reason. Well, thanks for your comments. Sure, thank you. Thanks for this festival. Thank you so much.